All righty, welcome back. For those of you just tuning in, you are going to need a Fat Cow account to follow along with us. Uh, Fat Cow has been around for a long time and they're a great hosting company. Uh, there's a link down here at the bottom of your video. If you could use that link to go and sign up for an account on Fat Cow, since you're going to do it anyway, uh, it would help me a great deal in being able to make more of these videos for you. Uh, what you're going to see after you sign up for that account, they, they'll send you some information. And you'll log in to your control panel and you'll see something like this. Don't let it worry you. All we're going to focus on is this little button down here. WordPress and it's gonna log us right into this neat little install area you're not going to see any of these obviously because these are my installs all I want you to do is click install okay once you log into this screen it's going to ask you if you wanna pick one of these uh, templates for $49.95. I don't recommend doing so because WordPress comes with many free templates, many great people out there allowing you to use their templates for free. I'd uh, advise checking those out first before you pay for anything. Um, we're going to click 3.32 obviously, uh, the newest version, and uh, right here uh, you'll only see one on here. Obviously I see many more because I have more accounts to deal with. Um, uh, unclick these two boxes and that's about it. You accept these uh, conditions and terms and click complete. It's really as easy as that. Um, now it's installing WordPress for me. Okay, once it installs you'll see this screen and it'll give you your front end and back end which means just basically what your customers see or what you uh, use to manage your blog. Um, go ahead and save these and your generated uh, username and password. We'll be able to change these later. Uh, we could have said it before, but I'd like to teach you guys how to do that on WordPress. So here, let's go ahead and click into the front end. Um, this is what your customers are obviously going to be seeing. This is the, the basic uh, template, the beginner template. We're going to change it up and spice it up a bit click this other one and you'll go into the back end it'll ask you to log in obviously we need these details I'm just gonna copy right there you, uh, admin and paste that in there and let's proceed so here we are you're at your own blog now don't let this intimidate you it's actually much easier than it looks so first of all um, we're going to go through this left menu. Uh, obviously, home uh, takes you home, uh, updates, uh, updates different things uh, about your WordPress blog. Um, this jetpack, uh, it's something you could sign on to actually connect your WordPress to WordPress.org. If you have a .org uh, blog, you could connect them both. Uh, if not, don't worry about that. Uh, your posts, this is where all your posts go. Posts are basically uh, news uh, about your blog, things, upcoming things, things that have come, things that don't matter if they go, uh, basically. Um, your media is where you'll upload all your different pictures and videos and anything that you want uh, inside your blog. Um, the links is what links you might want. You want to link to other places outside of your blog or within your blog you'll add these links here and they they're those common links that you see over on the right things that say blog roll or useful links or something that's where you would uh, store those your pages these are more your permanent uh, uh, structure website the uh, permanent pages uh, comments. This is where you'll see all the comments coming in, um, and you can respond to them through this interface also. The appearance here is where you could change your theme. Let's go into that right now. For right now, but there is many, many to choose if you go to install themes. And here you could kind of search for your the, the specific theme that you might want, or you could pick specific uh, characteristics. Let's just pick uh, blue. Just um, so we're going to let's say go ahead and install this uh, this one I liked with the water. So we're just going to click install. Install now. 
and activate click activate you could preview it or you could activate it but let's just activate it and now if I refresh here there you go it's completely changed now um, this area right here is where your posts would go this hello world uh, is that post so you see it also showed up on these side links um, there's also your sample page right here and this is those static pages I was telling you about right, so there's themes now widgets widgets are really cool there's all kinds of different things you could do with widgets but you could basically add functionality just like you might want into your blog uh, being that you might want um, connecting different accounts together uh, there's just many many things you can do with widgets um, your menus as like that to that top part this is one of your menus at the top um, the editor this is when you get into some more fancier advanced stuff you can edit some of the code to make it do specific things that you might want um, your your plugins this is where some extra things that you add to your website uh, like functionality and pages and you can add stores and shopping carts uh, programs many many different types of plug plugins that you might want to use um, you can search through those by adding new and type in, in something in the key, key box just think of anything like uh, Facebook uh, plugin so if you type in Facebook it'll come up with all the different plugins that they might have made for Facebook now these change functionality but they can also change look of your blog and stuff these are a lot of advanced things but we're going to take it a step at a time I just want to you to get to know this left bar so you get it to know uh, get to know it uh, uh, fully and it won't seem so daunting to do simple things now um, also your plugins have editors and you can edit those plugins to do different things and um, you don't need to really worry about that your users people that sign on to your blog for logging on um, you can manually add them uh, you can check your profile now tools you don't really need to worry about tools this is to import and export for now until stuff so if you ever wanted to move to it or just back it up and you use uh, this area um, your settings uh, these are general settings for your blog how uh, your URLs are displayed do you want it done by date and time or do you want it to do by post name I normally use post name because it cleans up the URL um, it adds whatever you you've named your post um, to the URL making it a lot more SEO friendly and we'll go into SEO later um, but yeah basically this is uh, your basics of, of, of your blog you've started your own blog now you just need to start adding your own content uh, go around and play along and um, come and visit our other videos we're gonna teach some in-depth stuff thank you